What is up? Welcome to the first Fortnite video on this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to play cross-platform on Fortnite. A lot of people did not know this, and some people did know this, but they haven't actually been able to do it. So in this video, I'm going to explain it all. You can play with your friends on PC if you're on Xbox and PlayStation. The only thing is, you can't play PlayStation and Xbox together. It's only PlayStation and PC, or Xbox and PC. The one thing you can do though, your character carries over between any platform. So say if you have a PlayStation and an Xbox, you can link those accounts together, and your character will cross over to each platform but you just can't play We're on your PlayStation with your Xbox friends at the same time. If you want more Fortnite videos from me, then make sure to smash a like on this video and drop a comment down below. What would you like to see on this channel? Any gun challenges, any things you like are stuck with, want help with, anything, drop it in the comments section down below. So in this video, I'm just gonna make a fresh account and show you guys what you need to do to play Fortnite on the cross platform. I'm gonna do it on PlayStation. I can show on Xbox later in the video, but it's exactly the same process pretty much. So for all of this to work, all you basically need to do is link your Conto account to an Epic Games account, which is basically how the PC players play together. They use the Epic Games client. However, on the console, you can just look at your PS Plus friends list. You need to connect your account to an Epic Games account and then your PC player can add you on Epic Games and literally just right click and join your session. So I'm on a brand new fresh Fortnite account, just like some random account on my PlayStation. And here you can see, play with an Epic account. So if you've already logged into Fortnite before, this will not pop up. But if it is new, you'd either log into an Epic Games account you've made on your computer, phone, laptop, whatever, or you would do sign up. So in this video, I'm going to sign up on this console showing you guys, say if you're new, how you make a fresh account on Epic Games. But if you already have a Fortnite account, I will show you guys how to link it to Epic Games without doing it on the console to still play. So we'll hit agree here. And then what I'm going to need to do is fill in all my details, creating my account. So I'm going to whiz through this and I'll be back in a minute. When you do actually create your Epic Games account though, you need to make sure you know what your display name is. So this isn't your PS Plus name, this is your Epic Games account name, which is what your PC friend would add you on. So in this example, I'm gonna call myself I Has Fortnite, just for the video, because my main account is just I Has Carrot on Epic Games, but we're gonna make a new one, we're gonna call it I Has Fortnite. So your display name is the one the PC friend will add you with, so you need to make sure you remember that. Pick it something, you can just put it as your PS Plus name, however it may be taken. So make sure you know what your display name is when you do create it. So now you can see creating account, we're signing into the Epic Game service. It's loading, hit that accept button there and then we should be logged in. Usually it will prompt you for an email verification, but I think that might only be if you create the account on your computer. As you can see, we're logging in, it's taking its time and we should load into a brand new Fortnite account. So as you can see, we've got Battle Royale, our brand new Fortnite account. We are a brand new level one noob, and who knows what this gamer tag is, but that wasn't my Epic Games account name. So remember, your PC friend needs to add your Epic Games account name, not your PlayStation account name. They could be the same, but whatever you set your display name to when you created your account, that is what your PC friend needs to add. So if you aren't making a new account and you already have your Fortnite account, if you've already created your Epic Games account and know the login, your PC friend can just add that. But I'm going to show you guys how to check if you've already linked your Epic Games account to your PlayStation account and also how to add one if you've already created your thing. So this, you need a laptop, computer, phone, and we're going to switch over to that screen now. So on your computer, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below and the comment section. You need to go to epicgames.com slash account slash connected. You can just Google Epic Games Connect account and it will take you to this page. So you need to log in with the email you thought you used your Epic Games account for or create a new Epic Games account on the actual computer. So once you've done this, you can see my PlayStation is connected with my random username. But for example, say if I wanted to connect my Xbox, I just press connect here and then it would take me over to xbox.com where I can log in. So I press link my account and then obviously I'd sign into my Xbox account do all that stuff and then my Xbox account would be linked as well. Also to find out what your display name on epicgames.com is, look top right, as you can see here, I'm called I Has Fortnite, so that is my display name. And once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. So for this next step, both of you need the Epic Games launcher. This is so you can add each other. The person on the console, you don't actually need to play, like download Fortnite on the PC. You just need the Epic Games like client so you can add your friend. 
So the PC player or the console player, it doesn't matter. Both of you need to do this. You need to go into your Epic Games launcher, go over to this friends thing, press add friend, and then you will type in the display name, not your PlayStation name, the Fortnite or the Epic Games display name. So we just made our account called I Has Fortnite. So we're going to send a friend request there. As you can see, it says outgoing one to I Has Fortnite. And you can also see our PlayStation Gamer Tag shows up with the little controller because that account is connected. Since I'm doing this myself, I need to sign out and then sign back into the other account to accept the friend request. So we have signed in to the other account and you can see already friend request from I has Carol. Or you click the little friend icon top right. We have one friend request, I has Carol there. So we accepted that friend request. So now both of you are friends on the Epic Games launcher and now the PC player basically just needs to look at their friends list. You will be online and then they can join your session. So I need to quickly switch back to my PC account so then I can play with the one I just made on the console. So now I'm on the PC account. You can already see one friend playing Fortnite, which is I has Fortnite. Also, you can probably see my Elgato here. I'm just showing you guys my Fortnite account is in the lobby. So I'm going to launch Fortnite on my PC and then I'll show you guys how to play with each other. So now you can see I have started up Fortnite on the actual PC right now. So I can see I'm on Ice Carrot. This is my level 14 account. So all you need to do, the PC player has to do this. The console player cannot actually invite the PC player. All the PC need to play needs to do is look at the friends list. So I has Fortnite is online. You need to right click, press join party. And now I can see I have joined the party. So on the PC, I'm in the lobby readied up. And now I'm actually going to switch over to my console screen. So now you can see that I'm back on the so here you can see on the console screen, I'm on my console account level one. I'm going to ready up. I has carrot is in the lobby and we're going into a squads game. I'm playing with myself on Fortnite. I guess you can do this if you have no friends, but usually you'd be playing with your friend who's on PC and then now you are playing. I'm not sure what actual service we are playing on. I believe it's the PlayStation servers just because the PC person joined the PlayStation lobby. It wasn't the other way around because console can't join PC. PC has to join the console player. So then, as we can see, just give it a minute, little minute to load in. And we are in. So I'm FD whatever a load of spam. We've got a little clan of ISO. The only problem is one of my accounts will be AFK in the match. And there we have it. That is how you play cross-platform. On Xbox, do exactly the same process. The only difference is on Xbox, you would obviously link your Xbox account instead of linking your PlayStation account. And then the same thing, you add each other on Epic Games, the PC player right clicks on the console player's Epic Games account, presses join, and then you're in a game together. So it's really that simple. If you guys have any questions about this, drop a comment down below. I'll be replying to anybody if you have any troubles with that and all the links to all the websites and all of that stuff is in the description and the comment section down below. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I hope this video helped you guys out because I saw a lot, some other people try and explain this, but they didn't show every single step and it may have been a bit confusing. But hopefully in this one, I've showed you guys how to do it completely and it's helped you out. So if anything helped you in this video, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Battle Brass is launching in seven seconds. So we're going to do a quick outro. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you on my next video.